In this video, we are going to discuss about fields. So here for this course, we will need only one important field that is a field of real numbers. In general, I will write down the properties of a field. So a field, first of all, is a non-empty set. And it has two operations. So the two operations are addition, which I'm going to denote by plus and other is multiplication. And I'm going to denote the field by this letter F plus and dot. And these are the following properties that I'm going to write for a field. So first is that if A belongs to the field, A belongs to F and if B belongs to F, then A plus B and a, a multiplied by b a dot b both should belong to the set f the second is that if a b c are three elements in f then a plus b plus c should be equal to a plus b plus c and a dot b dot c should be equal to a dot b dot c the third thing is that if a and b belong to f then a plus b must be equal to b plus a and a dot b must be equal to b dot a the uh, next thing is that we must be able to find an element which is zero in that set f such that a plus zero must be equal to a and we also must be able to find a one in that set f such that if a into one must be equal to a Next thing is that if A is in F, then we must be able to find a minus A. There exists a minus A in the same set F, such that A plus minus A should be zero. And if A is an element which is not zero and A is in F, then there exists an element 1 upon a in that f such that a into 1 upon a should be equal to 1 and the last property is that if a b c are in the set f then a dot b plus c must be equal to a dot b plus a dot c okay so these are the properties of a uh, field now let us see what are the names of these properties so the first property which i have mentioned here is called as closure closure with respect to addition and with respect to multiplication. So this property that A plus B belongs to F is called closure with respect to addition. A dot B belongs to F is called closure with respect to multiplication. The next property that I have mentioned here is A plus B plus C is A plus B plus C. This is this to this is this property is called associativity. And again, that associativity is with respect to addition and multiplication both. The third property is usually called commutativity property. So means A plus B is equal to B plus A and A dot B is equal to B dot A. The fourth property is called identity with respect to addition. Identity with respect to addition is zero and identity with respect to multiplication is what is equal to one.
the fifth property here this is this property is called inverse so inverse exists with respect to again the two operation first operation is addition inverse with respect to addition of a is minus a and inverse with respect to multiplication of a will be done will be denoted by one upon a and the sixth property this property a dot b plus c is equal to a dot b plus a dot c so this property is called distributivity property here you can see that the multiplication distributes over the addition that is why it is called distributivity property okay so i hope now all the properties of field are clear and what is the simplest example of a field now there are various fields there are many fields actually so what are the what are the simplest examples that you know that if you take real numbers all real numbers will satisfy the above property you will be able to find closure you will be able to find associativity you can observe commutativity also you will find identities also zero and one will play the role of zero and one itself then inverses will also exist in a field for non zero elements you have to find the inverse with respect to multiplication that is also true and distributivity is also true so all the properties are true for real numbers the second uh, field that is useful is this field of all rational numbers uh, means all fractions p upon q where this q is not equal to 0 and p and q both are what p and q are integers this is the set of what this is the set of rational numbers right so even this becomes a field with respect to usual addition and multiplication third important field is the set of all complex numbers with respect to addition and usual addition complex addition and usual multiplication in complex numbers so even this is a field so for the courses like linear algebra usually in the second year bsc course the field that we will always be using will be the field of real numbers so whenever i say f uh, as a field in the second year bsc course for linear algebra the field will be referred to as a field of real numbers in linear algebra when you take an element from a field the those elements from the fields are called as are referred to as scalars so what are scalars scalars are basically elements from a field that is the element either belongs to the set of real numbers rational numbers or complex numbers if it is mentioned that the field is a real number it means that all elements from the the field of real numbers means in any real number will be treated as a scalar i hope this introduction to field is now clear